Well, I think the G20 needs to keep the global system together. I think that uh, with the backlash against globalization, with the emergence of populism, with the emergence of this lack of trust by our societies that governments will take the right decisions, the biggest issue is to regain trust that the G20 can deliver answers for people. This is the most important issue. And of course we see that with the leadership of uh, Chancellor Merkel and the, and the G20 presidency of, of Germany, this is moving forward. Uh, we have very good uh, issues in the agenda. The, the question is how much this uh, very ambitious agenda is going to be followed by all of the other leaders and how much political will there will be to address the most difficult challenges we're facing. Uh, the question of backtracking on open markets, the question of addressing climate change, the question of providing solutions that talk to people and that really gives everybody a chance with this question of increased inequalities. The agenda is there. I think that you find it in all of the issues that have been uh, discussing, uh, how far the political will of, of all the G20 countries will deliver. This is to be seen and I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. I hope they will. The global solution is to rethink the growth model, is to rethink the growth model to be uh, to develop a people-centered growth, because the reality is that we have uh, probably confused the the means to an end. Global trade is so important, openness is so important, but it's a mean to an end to improve the well-being of people. Uh, globalization is important, but it's not an end in itself. We really need to think in our policies and how do they really trickle down and have very different distributional impact in very different income groups, which is what has been happening. We have been looking at the aggregates. We have been looking at aggregate growth, aggregate progress, aggregate. But the fact is that we need to make it trickle down to all the people, and for, for sure for those that have been left behind. This is the most important issue that leaders have to confront. How do they bring the societies together? How do we ensure that social cohesion and trust is there? And for that, you need to take care of those that have been left behind. I think it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic because the reality is that we need to think out of the box. You need people thinking, and this is the Think 20. Uh, I think they are bold, they can be very ambitious. Uh, you have a lot of constraints when you are a public official. You have a lot of constituencies, you have a lot of uh, issues to take care of, you have uh, tight public budgets, uh, so you cannot just go out and do whatever you want. Here you can, and they're free to express, they're free to think, they're free to propose. And then of course reality will tell us how far we can go, but I think we need these kind of settings to tell us and to push us for more ambitious.